Hey dolls! So it's Jen from Pinch of Pretty. Um, thank you guys for tuning in today. So I wanted to share with you guys some products that I have really, really so, been loving. So um, I'm just going to jump right in with my favorites. Um, it wasn't that hard for me to pick um, my favorites because... Um, I do have some things that I like, but um, that didn't get into the video. But I wanted to keep it, you know, kind of low. But um, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. Okay, so um, first I'm going to, no particular order, I'm going to start off with my palettes. Um, this. Loving, loving, loving the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, you guys have seen this palette. It's very infamous. I mean, a lot of us on YouTube and just you know beauty lovers makeup lovers we've been loving this Lorac Pro palette and I just love it um, it creates so many gorgeous um, looks all of the matte shades and then the shimmer you know you could have an all matte look and then pop some shimmer into the tear duct just so many different looks you could do with this neutral smoky I love it I love the texture of the eyeshadows I love how they lay on the eyes this is just gorgeous. Another palette I've every single is the NYX Nude on Nude. Now I had this for a while and I purchased it to kind of replace my Urban Decay Naked palette for myself and keep my Urban Decay Naked in my kit. But I kind of find that they're really not interchangeable. You can't really say that they're dupes for each other. But um, I have been loving this palette. Um, I just really started using it and I love it. Um, I'm going to open it up and show you guys. It comes with eyeshadows and it also comes with lips lip colors um here are the lip colors and there are the shadows at the top some of them are neutral i mean matte and some of them are shimmery but i really really love this palette the shadows are nice and creamy um just velvety you do get um fallout within the pan but it doesn't create fallout on your um face but I, I've just been loving the looks that I've been able to come up with this. I haven't used the lip colors yet. Um, but and I will. Now, the third and final palette that, like, hands down I've been loving, like, before any other palette would be the Jenny Riviera palette. Um, I know I've been make. late on the bandwagon, but I just um, have really been starting to use this for the past few weeks. And I just really, really love this. Um, if you guys haven't purchased this, um, BH Cosmetics doesn't sell it anymore. You can probably look online on eBay to see if you can sell it. They might be selling it for even more money. But um, this palette, if you guys have it, you need to start using it. If you don't, I'm so sorry. But um, I had to include my favorites because it's been a favorite. Um, let me open it up and show you guys. It is just gorgeous. Um, the colors, the pigmentation, it's just fabulous. The looks that I've been able to create with this. And the blushes are okay. I don't really like the blushes. I usually use this one. Um, I've tried to use the other ones. But this is the one, the blush that I usually go to. If I do choose a blush out of this palette. But I usually use it for the eyeshadows. And the eyeshadows are just phenomenal. Um, the pigmentation can't really compare to this baby here. But the pigmentation is really, really, really great in this palette. Um... It's just really nice. I love the looks that I can create with this. Just a nice variety. You can use all the shades in here and get your own look. And the same thing for the other palettes as well. But I've just really, really been loving, loving, loving this palette. Love. Um, yeah. Don't sleep. Um, powders. So I recently have been trying to see some look for some powders that I could use under my eye and also all over my face too. I'm a real like powder person. Um excuse my breakouts that I've been having here but I like for my skin to be nice and even that like everybody has something that they like whether it's blush lipstick or whatever my thing is powders and foundation mostly powders I really like a good powder because I like for my skin to be nice and even and matte and um this is not a pressed powder but it is a loose powder this is the elf high definition powder um this is the translucent I think this they only have a translucent one. I think they have a body glow as well, but it's not really a powder for your face to, you know, put all over. But I've been loving the look that I get with this. It just creates that very nice soft focus when you set your foundation. You don't get any creasing under the eye, and I crease a lot with concealer, and this has just been phenomenal. I mean, it doesn't take um it doesn't photograph well, but 
I really, really love this um, powder to set my foundation. Um, I've also been loving um, the Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Setting Powder in Banana. Um, I use this to set um, my under eye concealer. It, the, the soft look that it creates under the eye, the smoothness, it really is rub free. Like, just everything that I this love claims this for, it is. Um, setting my under eye concealer is just amazing. It it just looks flawless. It really, really does. Like I said, everything that Ruby Kisses claims about that powder is honestly true. Um, I've just really, really been loving it. Um, I do notice that it kind of sets everything in kind of orange under my eyes. So I don't really use this too often. And you need to use a little bit of this if you do use it because a lot is just not cute. And it photographs terribly. But the look that it gives, especially when you use just a little bit, is perfect. Um, but if I had to pick between the two of these, to set my under eye concealer I would honestly choose this one but um I do like the ruby kisses so that has been a favorite of mine it's just kind of you know some days I'm like I like it and some days I'm like eh I don't want to really want to use this um next thing that I've been loving is my dirty beauty blender sponge don't judge me just use it to do my makeup I just honestly I'm not gonna get into it you guys know about the beauty blender it is phenomenal for concealer for blending on my concealer that's what I love it for I don't like it for foundation and all that um I think it did make my air my foundation look a little bit airbrushed when I used it for foundation but for concealer phenomenal and that's what I've been loving it for um I'm gonna talk about some brushes now that I've been loving these are dirty as well um some of them this is the Sedona Lace 480 brush Words cannot explain how flawlessly this blends in your foundation. The brush is soft. Um, it's just the, the um, quality of this brush is just amazing. Um, the way it blends provides like an even coverage. The bristles are nice and soft. I just love, love, love this. If you guys don't even want to get the kit, the lace kit for the face, just get this brush, the 480. I mean, it is just amazing and you won't know until you try it also I've been loving this um, brush by Coastal Scents this is the BRC 203 this is a large um, shadow brush love um, applying um, my eyeshadow um, my lid colors with this this is the best um, eyeshadow brush I've ever purchased um, in my opinion and I spent like $11 on this Sonia Kashuk brush but that one from Coastal Sense I just love it it's still fluffy but it's kind of it has like a, a flatness about it and just next brush I'm gonna well. is the Pro Fluff Blending Brush by um, Coastal Sense this is a 250 and I just love this for crease work it's amazing like you have to have this I love it more than my Sedona Lace one this is just amazing okay and lastly, these three lips, lipsticks or lip colors that I've been loving. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to speak about what's on my lips. Riri Boy um, by MAC from the Riri Hearts MAC collection. This is it. Mine's broke. It's all damaged and stuff, but I love it. Um, you see it on my lips. It's just gorgeous. I've been wearing it a lot lately. It's just phenomenal. I love it and I love matte lipsticks. Um, the next one would be Lavender Whip love this another lavender shade nice purple love it this one broke too melted in the car within 10 minutes of me being in the car but i just i've been loving this one as well i've been wearing that a lot and the last lip color that i've been wearing a lot this month is antwerp and this is the soft matte lip cream by nyx i'm gonna swatch it so you guys can see it it is fabulous um i'm not gonna swatch the other ones i don't want to break them further but um this i've been loving as well gorgeous so yeah i love the way that um that lip color finishes the matteness of it like i said i love matte lips and it's just amazing i really really love it um the color is gorgeous i put a picture up on instagram with it a few times and you guys love that color as well um so yeah get a lot of compliments on that that is it you guys those have been my favorites um for this past month these past few weeks or whatever um these items are you know just phenomenal um go ahead and check out the stores Ulta Mac or wherever Target where they sell these products and just try some of them out if you like and see if you guys like them too and that's it um I'm gonna zoom in on my eyes hopefully I can get this video up later on today 
I've been having computer issues. So yeah. Um, here are my eyes. Let me zoom in on my eyes. I've just been practicing. I use my um, BH Cosmetics Day and Night palette for this look. Um, my lighting isn't so great, but yeah. You guys can kind of see that. It's just like a slate gray smoky eye, and I incorporated some purple and pink. Then I reread boy. I have some purple blush for my Coastal Sins palette. Um, so yeah, that is it, you guys. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Pinch of Pretty MUA. Um, yeah, and check out my blog if you're a blogger too, or you like reading blogs. I'll leave that link down there. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Deuces.